A weather alert about falling iguanas in South Florida. The National Weather Service says the cold weather expected on Christmas Day could cause iguanas to fall from trees, bushes, and porches. It's a phenomenon that happens when it gets cold. The creatures that rely on the sun for energy, they get stiff and lethargic, and they can lose their grip on the trees where they live. This is actually something we report on regularly. When the temperatures get frigid, it actually went viral last year when this happened. I think the rest of the country was like, wait, this is real? He is stiff like a piece of cardboard. Look at that. That is insane. It's like he's dead for real. All right, so we have the thermometer right so here. So if you didn't know that, you're not really supposed to mess with them, even though they're sort of laying there. They, they look get aggressive dead because if they wake up and you're messing with them, they can get aggressive because they're threatened. So just leave yes. you want us where they are. Oh, there he is! There he is! There he is! Oh, come here! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Look at Watch. him! For them yes. falling from the trees because you could get hurt. They're heavy, they're some of them. 20 pounds or so, yeah. <laughs> A lot going on in Florida when it gets cold because we're so unaccustomed <laughs> to it, right? Oh, he's cold. He's so cold. Wow. We're going to have to check his temperature. All right. Temperature gun right here. It's your boy, the Iguana oh. Man, with Extreme Pond Stars. And we're back at y'all with another video. Whew. Right now, guys, we have this infrared digital thermometer, all right? And as you can see, for me and Pawn Stars, we have jackets on right now. Because it is freezing. It's it Christmas time and it is cold. Cold front literally came out of nowhere, guys. Woo. Overnight. You guys already know the bipolar weather. Anyways, today's mission, guys, is we're going to try to catch iguanas at night. We don't know if they're frozen or not. But if they are, you want to hold this for a sec? For sure. We have this digital thermometer thingy right here, guys. So if we do see any frozen iguanas, we want to take their temperature, all right? to see how cold they actually have to be to be frozen. Then we might thaw them out and see what is the thaw out temperature, all right? So that's the goal. We're trying to get as much data as possible. They say extreme, when it mm. goes in the 40s, they get mm. cold. Whoa. It's colder than that right now. Yeah, it feels like it's about 25 degrees. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> really cold. So we're gonna show you guys real quick how this works, all right? We have it right here and it's got different modes and it's got memory and it's got volume. So what you wanna do Pawn Stars, I'm, I know okay. it's, we're gonna just. I'm gonna be the lab rat? Yep, you're gonna be the lab rat. So you're just gonna click it right there, and it's body, and you see right there, the temperature pulls up. He's, he's 97.1 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's like perfect temperature right there. Yeah, that's normal human temperature. Yeah, so that's pretty normal, guys. I wonder how, how, how cold I am. All right, guys, tell me what it says. 98.1. So I'm a little bit warmer than Pond Stars. It's okay. I'm, <laughs> I got a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more cushion, you know. But let's go ahead and let's check. We're gonna switch the mode. Look, you see how it says room right there? Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go surface temperature. You see that? I see that. So this is the car right here. We're gonna see. And how this car has been sitting out here for about a good hour. Yeah, easily. Let's check. Oh, 35.8. Whoa. If it was three degrees lower, it would actually be able to freeze water. If we were to put water in there, technically it would freeze. That should give you guys an idea of how cold <laughs> it is outside right now. In right? South Florida on <laughs> Christmas Day, 2020. Okay, so now it has another mode where we're going to do the, the let's see, the room temperature. See that room? So yeah. let's click that and see what the room is out here. So it's saying it's 65. So guys, we, we, we have readings all over the place, all right? We're 97, yeah. this is 35, uh -huh. it's 65 out here. Guys, yeah. we don't even know how cold it is or if we're gonna get any frozen iguanas. But if we do go out there, we're definitely gonna have this tool handy just to assess and collect as much data as possible to see what degrees does it need to be for iguanas to freeze. And I don't know about y'all, but that just kind of rhymed right there a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like the video, comment if you're new, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you in the world of frozen iguanas. Guys, we're at the job right now, and as you guys can see the degrees, it says it's 51. Now, I don't know if that's inside the car or if it's outside, but we are at the job and we do have our thermometer. Let's see what it's saying inside here. Okay, it's saying 53 inside here. So maybe that's the internal temperature, but Let's see. 
I don't know, guys. It's saying 53, so I don't know if that's cold enough. But we're going to go find out right now. Let's see what we can catch. So first things first, we need to try to find to see if there's even any iguanas out. And then we're going to try to check their temperature. It's pretty cold. I do see my breath, but it's not freezing. I see an iguana right over here. He's like hiding somewhere in there. We're going to shake this tree. He should come out. There they go. There they go. Two of them. Two of them flew out. Two of them flew out. Look at that. Oh, whoa. Come here, buddy. You're coming with us. All right. We're going to check your all's temperatures. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy. Dang, this guy is stiff. Look how stiff he is. Holy mackerel. He is stiff like a piece of cardboard. Look at that. That is insane. It's like he's dead for real. Maybe he... No, he's alive. All right. Let's check the temperatures. All right. So we have the thermometer right here. We set it to surface temperature. So let's see this guy. Holy mackerel. He is 43.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's check this guy. He is 44.6 degrees. So it seems like around 44 degrees they get frozen. This guy's stiff, but he's a little bit warmer, it seems. He can still react. But this is going to be shocking, guys. Look at this. That's an iguanasicle right there. That is a frozen... Look. Look at that. He is frozen like a piece of cardboard. This guy's trying to make a move. No, you don't, buddy. You're coming. Holy crap. Whoa. Let's keep shaking trees and let's see what else we can catch. There's a giant... I wonder if he's going to be frozen too. I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can get him to fall out of the tree. Oh, oh. Two more. Two more. All right. No biting. Guys, we can just put them right there because they're so cold they can't even move. Let's check their temperatures as well. All right, buddy, we're just gonna check your temperature. He's 44.2. He's 43.5. Wow, that's so cool. So, they're about in like the 42 to 44. I heard one more thump. Oh, two more flew out. Oh my gosh, they're leopards. They're leopards. Holy mackerel. Leopard iguanas, guys. Leopard iguanas just fell out the nest. Whoa, come here, buddy. Wow. Guys. All right, let's check their temperatures as well. Come here, you little leopards. Forty-five point one. 43. So the sweet spot, I'm guessing that all these iguanas are at, they're about, they're around like between 43 and 45 degrees. And that is cold enough to make them freeze. Look, this guy is still stiff. He might be dead, to be honest with you. See, like he's literally so cold right now. He's stiff. All right, that's crazy. This little guy is, is cold, but he's a little feisty. He can't do much. Just chill right there, bud. Let's go see if we can get that alpha. It is an absolute giant. Guys, we've gotten some meaty ones. That thing is huge. You can just see the tail just sticking out there. How can we... Okay, we got to shake this tree to get him down. Guys, this is going to be kind of dangerous though, all right? So you guys... Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, come here. Oh, no. Oh, come here. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. Look at him. He's going in slow motion. Oh, my gosh. 
Guys, this is insane, guys. This is absolutely insane. Whoa, come here, buddy. Oh, he's cold. He's so cold, wow. We're gonna have to check his temperature. All right, you stay right here. <sighs> guys, temperature gun right here. All right, buddy. Forty-three point nine, right in the sweet spot. Right in the sweet spot, guys. So around forty-three to forty-five degrees Fahrenheit. That is the peak temperature to freeze these iguanas and make them immobile, guys. Look how many we've caught in the last fifteen minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, including that monster right there. That is a beast. All right. Wow, look how insane that color is. Look at that pattern right there, guys. That is electrifyingly cool. All right, you stay right there. You be a good frozen iguana popsicle, okay? Yeah, buddy. Teaching these frozen iguanas a super fat lesson. Let's go. We're gonna have to put all these guys in the bag. Hey guys, frozen iguanas. Wow, let's go get the other two. All right. All right, come here, big boy. Oh, man. He's such a beast. That's insane. Well, the average temperature of all these iguanas was 44 degrees Fahrenheit. And that temperature, that is cold enough to, to make the iguanas basically immobilized. Like they can't run, uh, they can't fend for themselves, they fall out of the trees, and, and you know, some of them might even be dead, guys. I think, honestly, that one might be dead. Because he's like, he can't even do anything, guys. He's completely paralyzed right now like he i don't know if he's alive or dead guys but comment down below if you think he's alive or you think he's just frozen if he's frozen he's really frozen guys because like that's pretty insane right there like he can't do anything he has no control over anything he can barely even open it i don't guys i don't know say a prayer for this iguana but he's toast little baby one right here is look at that can't even move big boy right here is supposed to be look at oh whoa he's kind of feisty i'm not gonna lie he's kind of feisty but he can't do anything this guy's toast can't do anything can't do anything these guys are toast right here too right they can't do anything guys it's because they they, they need they need heat. Oh, they are starting to warm up a little bit, though. This guy, he's, he's skating. But this is a phenomenon, guys. And in 2010, we had a freeze that killed probably half the iguana populations. And uh, ever since then, guys, they have bounced back. You guys are seeing it right now. We have all these different colors and sizes. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys did learn something. Stay tuned if you guys want to see me bring these iguanas home and warm them up and see what temperature they warm up at and see how that works. But uh, we're going to end the video on this note. And we are using this right here, guys. This is this digital thermometer thing. Let's just check their temperature one more time. Oh, we got them. 47. He warmed up a little bit. He's 44, he's 45, yeah, 45, 44, 46, 46, 46. So guys, they're all around 45 degrees right now. They warmed up a little bit since we were handling them. Well, that's all I have for you guys tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. 
please put the, the bell notification on because we're gonna be dropping some ridiculous content here. We already filmed it, we just gotta edit it. And uh, you're not gonna wanna miss this crazy stuff that we've been doing, guys. It's been absolutely insane. But I wanted to bring you guys a quick video. So uh, please let me know you guys like these videos by liking it, leaving some comments, and of course, subscribing if you're new. Uh, it is the Iguana Man signing out. So guys, we will see you on the next video. All right, we just got finished up bagging up all the other iguanas, but this is the iguana that I'm gonna take home because he's the one that's like stiff, like, like a cardboard. So we're gonna see if he's not dead and we're gonna see what temperature brings him back to normal behavior and consciousness and physical activity. So stay tuned for that.